Hello Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back. Pisces, this is going to be your love reading for February. What's going on for Pisces and love? If you have Pisces anywhere in your charts, this reading is for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, what's going on with Pisces? Let's get some energy. Okay, we have surround yourself with your soul tribe. So Pisces, you can be going through social gatherings. You can be, you know, hanging out with friends, um, socializing, getting yourself out there. Uh, but I feel like you're surrounding yourself with people who love and support you. Okay, let's get some more energy for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? Trust. Okay, I feel like it's very beneficial for you to trust. To trust in yourself, to trust in the universe, to trust the path that you're following is the right path. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So listening to your intuition. And Pisces, you are the most intuitive of all the signs your intuition runs very high at a high vibration so I feel like really trusting yourself is going to be very beneficial for you okay let's get some more messages okay if you're open to relationships I feel like a new relationship is going to open up for you I feel like uh, relationships are deep in your thoughts right now. I am attracting those people who serve my higher good. So I feel like love, if you're worried about love, if you're open to love, I feel like love is coming in for Pisces in the month of February. Um, I'm getting a feeling that you're going to be pleasantly surprised about something. Someone is going to surprise you with some kind of invitation some kind of invite uh, but i feel like pisces there's something coming forward for you that's going to bring you a lot of happiness a lot of uh admiration <clears throat> okay and excuse my voice i'm i'm catching a cold so please excuse my voice okay let's get some tarot for pisces What's going on for Pisces? For love. February. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So we have the five of wands. Pisces. I feel like you're kind of starting out with drama there's some kind of drama or conflict going on right now um, a good thing is I feel you moving away from that energy I feel like if this is a situation to where you and a loved one are arguing, um, I feel like this is going to, yeah, this is going to be resolved. Beautiful. Okay. So you're starting out with some kind of conflict, some kind of drama. But I feel like someone's coming in with an, an apology. Um, someone's coming in to offer you some sort of apology about the situation they feel like they were wrong um maybe they just overthought the situation <clears throat> overreacted you know um but i feel like you're moving past this yeah you're definitely moving past this energy and you're more focused on your day-to-day -day life I feel like you're setting your priorities. You're trying to find balance. <clears throat> you're more, more focused 
on your day-to-day -day activities. But I feel like you're in for some kind of new beginning. There's some kind of new journey starting out for you, Pisces. Um, I feel like you have the need to take a risk. To try to get out of your daily, day-to-day -day activities and kind of move to some sort of adventure. Move to something that's more exciting. Um, you know, when I think of Pisces, I also think of like journey, discovery, being a go-getter, you know. Um, Pisces are also very entrepreneurial. So I feel like you're, you're kind of tired of the day-to-day -day activities and you're ready to move on to something more exciting. Something that is going to bring you more exhilaration. Something that you're used to. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> so, with the Seven of Swords being right underneath this conflict, I believe that someone is, even though you do receive an apology, I feel like someone is maybe holding a grudge, kind of behind the scenes. Someone is not fully letting go of the situation. Um, I feel like they're holding some kind of animosity towards you so that's something that you need to be aware of that's something to really be aware of in the situation we have the eight of cups so this is definitely an energy that you want to move away from this is some kind of energy that you're you're really not used to Pisces and you kind of feel like you, you're not used to being treated this sort of way you're not used to someone talking to you this sort of way so I feel like you're moving away from this energy you're you just want to leave that energy behind and move on to something better okay let's see what else we have yeah we have the moon we have the moon so I feel like Pisces you're learning some kind of secret some kind of secrets are being revealed um, I feel like this is also you trying to go with the flow of things but I feel like whatever this is that's being revealed is kind of making you take a step back it's making you really pause and take notice with this eight of cups being right next to the moon um, I feel like this is something that you really don't want to deal with you really don't want to um have in your life at the moment you feel like you don't have time for this mess you know you want to move on to better things you have better things in plan um, let's see let's get some more messages for Pisces yeah you're done with it you don't want to feel this kind of feeling there, there's something that's totally ending something is coming to a abrupt halt you know you're like something is revealed and it's like I'm through with it I'm done this is it <clears throat> this is over with um, and you just want to move on from the situation but I feel like something is really being opened up some kind of information is being revealed to you that's making you want to stop just totally you want to totally move away from the situation. This may be from this initial conflict. You may be moving away from this person who's holding on to certain feelings. But I feel like you're finding something out. Something becomes more clear. What other messages do we have for Pisces? Yeah, there's going to be big changes, Pisces. You're going to have some sort of tower moment. These are big changes. This is something having to crumble so that something better can come about. Um, so there's no need to be f afraid of a tower. A tower is just change that brings something better in its place. So I feel like some, some changes, something had to crumble so that something better can come around. And I feel like... 
I feel like you already know this situation. Okay, we have the King of Wands. So, this may be that love interest that I was speaking about earlier with the relationships. I feel like this King of Wands, this King of Wands is coming in to build more excitement. To open up your mind to new journeys, to new discoveries. You also have the King of Cups on the bottom. Interesting. So, <clears throat> there may be two. There may be two people. You may still be dealing with this King of Cups situation. But I feel like after these changes are made, this King of Wands is coming in. I feel like he's coming in with a lot of assertiveness. A lot of boldness. A lot of charm. This person is very charming. Very bold. Very assertive. I feel like they're a go-getter. And I feel like you can see that right from the start. This person is going for what they want. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Page of Swords. And we have the Knight of Wands. So I definitely feel like... You're very curious about this King of Wands. This King of Wands is bringing some kind of excitement. Some kind of passion. That's making you very curious. You want to know more about this situation. You're, you're, it's like opening up your mind to this new door that you've unlocked. And I feel like this is going to make you second guess yourself. But I feel like it's a wonderful ride. This is a new journey that you're going on. This is new adventure. You may be traveling with this person. Or you may go to... They may show you a certain location. Maybe something that they're very passionate about. But I feel like with this Knight of Wands, I feel like this is a journey for you. You're going on some sort of adventure. You're trying new things. Give me more messages, Spirit. Okay. Yeah, we have the death card. Wow. So definitely, you're transforming. This is a transformation. This is something that had to end. So this new beginning could start. And I feel like this is kind of... You're going through a emotion change very quickly. I feel like you're really falling for this King of Wands energy. It's kind of transforming you. Like, like you're almost becoming a whole new person with a whole new personality. You know, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like it's transforming you in a way. Maybe they, this King of Wands, they're building your confidence. They're feeding into your ego to make you feel more confident, more beautiful, more attractive. You know, you could be male or female. But I feel like this King of Wands is, is bringing something to the table that maybe you haven't felt. You know, I feel like they're, they're bringing this transformation. It's like... I, I keep going back to this, like unlocking this door that hasn't never been unlocked. Um, I feel like you have the key to unlock this door to this new discovery, to this new passion that's unfolding. Interesting. We have the Ten of Wands. Wow. A lot of cards of completion. We have... The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. I definitely feel like you're coming to this realization that you've completed some kind of task. You, you're no longer feeling overwhelmed or pushed to the limit. I, I feel, and I don't really feel like this is burdens, Pisces. I feel like this is you. Um, becoming more complete in your situation. I feel like this is goals that you've achieved. This is something that had to end so that you can 
really set your priorities to what really matters in your life. You know, I feel like this is something, this is something great that's coming around for you. Interesting. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. I feel like with this feeling of completion, your your resources are coming together. You're you're being very resourceful. Look how she's holding that pinnacle. She's holding that pinnacle like she's holding a child, you know? She's she's caring about this. I feel like you're able to care about what matters most to you again. Um, we have the judgment on the bottom. So I definitely feel like this is this is definitely new discoveries coming your way in the month of February. This is something that's totally opening up for you. This is you finding your path. Maybe finding a new purpose. Um, making final decisions on important things that you've maybe been putting off. But I feel like this judgment card has you feeling very renewed. You have a new sense of hope. A new sense of purpose. Beautiful energy. Okay. And we have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like with this Page of Pentacles, I feel like this is some kind of offer coming in for you. This is someone coming in with some kind of information that's going to lead to an offer of some sort. Someone wants to give you a gift. Um, I really feel like this is good news coming your way in the month of February. Um, something that's going to make you very happy, very, very joyful. The With the, the Page of Pentacles right next to the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this is this is good news that's going to bring in more income, more resources, more money. Um, this also may be good news about your health. Um, but it's right over the death card. It's right over this transformation. So I feel like this is news that's coming in that's going to make you really happy, overjoyed. Give me some more messages, Spirit. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Now this is the third ten that we've gotten so far. So we have ten, ten, ten. So definitely some kind of completion. There's some kind of goals that you're reaching. This is abundance. This is happiness. This is joy. This is good health. So I feel like you're coming into this Ten of Pentacles with a new thinking, with a new outlook. Um, and I believe this King of Wands is like the start of this new journey. So this King of Wands is very important to this reading. I feel like he's bringing a lot of new feelings, new happiness, new passions else do we have wow oh my goodness Pisces you're hearing the truth you're making a breakthrough this is a breakthrough coming through for you this is very important this is opening up new opportunities opening up new ideas um, I feel like you're basking in your purpose you know you're Everything is becoming more clear. You're finding your focus. There may be some kind of new idea that you're going to be running with. Some, some kind of new idea, some kind of new focus that you are running with. But I feel like it's bringing you a lot of happiness. Let's get some love cards for you and this person. Let's get some love cards for you and this King of Wands. Let's see, for you... We have only time will tell. So I feel like you're not trying to rush into the situation. You're open to the new discoveries, the new adventures, and you're willing to take your time with the situation. Um, we also have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So I feel like that's the universe letting you know that you are worthy of love that's coming your way. That that this relationship is going to bring you new meaning, new purpose, a new outlook. 
For them, we have surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So, there may be something, some kind of energy that this person is working on as well. I feel like this person is working on themselves to better themselves in this situation. We also have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So... Pisces, this may be someone that you know. This may be someone that you're finding out about with this Ace of Swords energy. Um, if this is for your person, I feel like you may be the secret admirer. You may have had your eye on this person for some time. At the bottom, we have Twin Flames. Your passion ignites. So, this is beautiful energy. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. We have passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. We also have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you and where you are one eternal soul. For there you'll find true bliss. Wow. I feel like this is a, going to be <laughs> a very fiery interaction. Um... I, I definitely feel like this King of Wands is opening up new doors for you. I feel like, you know, you're that locked door and I feel like they have the key. For you, we have separation. So, like I said, with this situation, I feel like there may have been a separation in, in your near past. And I feel like you're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place because I feel like you truly had feelings for this person that there was so much conflict with. And I feel like you're, you're going through moments where you're missing them. Um, let's see... We have frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're still holding on to those feelings from that past relationship. From that relationship that may have just ended. I feel like it's left you feeling like you're not enough. Like um, you've been broken in some way. But I feel like this King of Wands energy, I feel like this King of Wands energy is coming in to kind of save the day. The King of Wands, they have the boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So I feel like, now this could also be you and this King of Wands going on, a, on some kind of boat, going on some kind of ship. Um, but I feel like with this King of Wands, I feel like they're they're moving in your direction. And I feel like, you know, the sail has lifted and they're gliding towards you, you know. We also have for this King of Wands, Hand of Cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand or gambling. And I feel like that's this full card this full card is taking a chance they're going on this on this new journey they're discovering new things that um, they may not have thought were possible in the past and I feel like that's sort of what this journey is taking you on Pisces this is a new journey of discovery and I feel like you're discovering a lot of new things about yourself as you learn new things about this king of wands this may be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but it can be. It could be a Leo, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay. But we have the Knight of Cups. This King of Wands is going to bring you some kind of offer, some kind of gift, some kind of invitation that's going to spark your interest. Um, we have the Knight of Cups on top of the Knight of Cups. So definitely some kind of offer coming in for you. We have the Queen of Cups. Yes, something is bringing you a lot of emotion. A lot of feeling of being satisfied. I feel like you're, you're yearning to be very supported, but you're also a nurturer, Pisces. 
I feel like this is you showing your support in a situation. We have the Seven of Swords again. So, Pisces, beware of this person that you had conflict with. Beware of them trying to make contact with you. Be, beware of them trying to do something sneaky behind your back because I definitely feel like this person that you had conflict with this person that apologized I feel like they really didn't want to give the give you that apology um, they really regret giving you that apology for some reason so I feel like this person they they're not gone yet they're still there so that's something to be aware of Okay, we have the death card for the second time in this reading. So there's total transformation. Some kind of feelings are done and over with. And there's a beautiful new beginning that's about to sprout out for you. Um, I feel like this is total transformation. This is something that had to end so that this new beginning can start for you. Something is done and over with so that you can have this bigger better opportunity unfold okay yes we have the six of swords so pisces you're definitely moving in the right direction i feel like you're moving into more serene waters you know you're moving out of the waves you're moving out of that choppy water and you're moving into dry land on new discoveries she's moving away from a place where she's always known going to look at a land where she has yet to discover she's moving into this new journey but it's bringing her a lot of calmness it's bringing her relaxation feeling rejuvenized you know and I feel like that's kind of where you're going with this Pisces I feel like you're being rejuvenized in this situation and I feel like your you have options available to you and you may have a, a too many options this is also you um, being aware of something that may be an illusion something that may be um, something that you're thinking too much about you know I feel like you're putting too much energy into a situation and I feel like it's it's kind of giving you too many options too many illusions and but I feel like you're breaking free of this energy because you have the ace of wands so I feel like this is sparking some kind of new creative venture oh my gosh look at this look what we have on the bottom you're finding your happiness Pisces you're finding your happiness this has sparked some kind of new beginning for you. You have the death card twice in this reading. You have the king of cups twice. You have three tens. The three of swords. The, uh, excuse me, you have three tens. The three of, excuse me, the ten of swords. The ten of wands. And the ten of pentacles. So I feel like there's something that is definitely complete. You're going on a new journey. There's something that had to end so that something bigger and better could come around. So, Pisces, oh my gosh, get ready for a wonderful journey. Get ready for a lot of new discoveries. I feel like you're going to really enjoy the process. Um, that is what I have for you, Pisces. So, if this reading resonates, please like and describe like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity i'll have all of them uploaded probably by tomorrow um but pisces okay until your next reading many blessings to you love and light